Why, hello everybody, my name is Fretex, and welcome back to Europe 1100 and our Viking invasion. We are currently destroying the Norwegians, probably one of the last bastions they hold in the entire Scandinavia. And after that, we can look into taking down the rest of Europe. Now, I'm currently fighting some low-level lords. I have actually asked to create an army. There are reinforcements on the way, and once they arrive, we will go. Oh, I don't know over there. We will go and attack the last remaining town of the Kingdom of Norway. Oh, this is beautiful. I feel kind of bad for these guys at the moment. They have only like two towns to recruit troops from. <laughs> and they haven't really got a lot of high level units left. They're pretty much cooked. Cavalry, destroy our foes. Let's see how many we kill in the first wave here. Cavalry does so much better now. I'm actually kind of liking it. It's not as powerful as Warband yet, but damn, it's getting better. Well, if I'm using mods anyway. Well, oh, I actually kind of stopped on that horse's butt there. That was pretty weird. These poor Norwegians. So I'm not exactly sure where this video is going to take us. Because of course, I'm not in charge of the kingdom. I'm just one of its many loyal vassals. So we'll have to see what our king decides for our next course of action. But hopefully once we wrap up this Norwegian war, we will declare another war. Of course, we do have to be careful. There are the extremely large kingdom of Denmark, our biggest foe. At least in this area of the map anyway. So we have to see if we might want to try and go for them. I think they just have more troops than us, to be honest. So we'll have to see what the game decides. We've run out of war horses again, everybody. Luckily, we're pretty rich. So if I go into a town and find war horses, we'll get war horses. Pretty simple. Done. Uh, oh, bigger shield. I like it. Let me, just, let me just see the upgrade here. It's actually smaller, <laughs> but it looks more like it looks more. But it's it's got like it's got metal and stuff on it. I thought like this is gonna be more powerful. We're gonna keep this guy. Oh, I haven't got a flag, have I? We don't need a flag. It's fine. So I've also. I went through this morning and I was saying last episode, oh, I wish I had this mod that uh, stops selling at zero in towns. And I found it. I've, I found it. I downloaded it. So I haven't tested if it works yet. But in theory, if we go to a town and I sell stuff, it shouldn't. It should just work. <laughs> just as Todd Howard once said, it just works, everybody. Don't worry about it. What is happening with you guys? I have no idea. Regardless, we are still waiting on a reinforcement shop. I don't think I actually have enough to take on this town. I will. Oh. Let's go and assist our king in taking down um, Hovden, and then it's literally just Bergen left, and then we've won. My king, I'm here to assist you. So I do actually own quite a few... What is happening over here as well? <laughs> What's going on here? Thing is, I really want to try and catch them because of our speed. It's going to be pretty oh, much impossible. Sorry, oh! I don't think I know you. Oh, this is the guy that crashes the game, everybody, from the last episode. The Bacon Warriors. They have some... Error text ID strength troops, which are so powerful, even the game itself cannot function. So we're going to just uh, auto resolve kill him there. Get him out of the way. Why are you guys... There must be something strange with one of them, but I'm not sure what one it is. Let's just hope that it doesn't cause a problem in the future. <laughs> That's what I only do. Okay. Upgrade all my troops still. Berserkers. We can get more berserkers. I think I agree the guys to the wrong thing earlier, so we might have some random Huskarls appear at some point, but it should be fine. So I think by the time that that's done, they should have started invading by now. No, he's still going. Okay, we're going to wait until this battle to start, and then we're going to join him. Ah, oh, it has begun. Okay, let me just get my character upgraded first, because it looks like we've leveled up a lot. Damn. Okay, what do we want to do, everybody? What do we want to do with our level ups here? I think we still just go for this. Intelligence. I'm going to go for the biggest army the world has ever seen, everybody. It's it's going to be huge. I'm going to have Maximus stewardship. We're going to have a gigantic host of just angry Vikings, and it's going to be glorious. Uh, what is this? Do we want to go for snowy terrain? That could be a good idea. Or this one. Plains, steppes, and deserts. I feel like this one's more relevant because I see it seems to be we're always fighting in some kind of like forest terrain anyway. I think mean, it's because I got the buff that lets me go faster without much cavalry, so I always catch enemies in the forest. We go for this guy, a center skirmisher. I've also got ooh, what is this? Let's go for the hit point one because I, I I've kind of disillusioned with archers at this point, so we're gonna just go for the uh, increased power of our siege weapons themselves. Done. Uh, now for the points itself. I want to get more charm again. We're just going to max it out. Because we. this is so easy to level up. As long as you're fighting laws and you release them from combat, it's extremely easy to get experience for, and it lets us level up even more. It's it's a, it's an XP grind system, everybody. We have the optimal XP grinding. Okay, we're going in. This should be interesting. 
Where did you come from? So hopefully after this, our Lord will go and siege down that main city. If not, I'm going to go and give it a shot. Oh, I think he might come and join me. Regardless, though, everybody, follow me. I still wish it would let me customize my troops in sieges I'm not in charge. Because I don't want all these formations. <laughs> I just want a formation, guys. That's all I need. You guys okay over there? Oh, they already hit the siege tower. That's not a good start for us. Oh, look at this. There's actually guys on the walls. Okay, spread out here. Inventory, get in the main gate. I'm going to see if I can break in. I'm Special Agent Ironside and we have a mission, everybody. But there is a lot of them right now. Let's wait a little bit to the archers to start shooting them, shall we? Oh, no. There's no way that's going to survive. It's weird that there's no, like, actual damage when it gets hit. It just looks bad. But eventually it's going to explode. Okay, we're returning fire. Not very fast, but we are returning fire. I'm trying to see, are they, are they giving up? There seems to be a lack of firing at my siege tower there. Oh. It's still okay. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, you guys ready for the main gate? It looks like my allies have already started going inside. Where is this? Is there... Wait, let me just look over here. Is there actually some ladders? No. Where are the second ladders? Wait, guys, I'm confused. <laughs> Cover me, men! Oh, guys, I was just... I'm an idiot. I was running around going like, where are the ladders? We have a siege tower. <laughs> That's where that was. So at this point, I think we're going to leave the AI to try and get inside from the left hand wall. And we're going to focus on getting into the main gate. Guys, square formation. It's nearly here. We're probably fast forward until it breaks down the gates and we're trying to rush inside. The gates are open, man. Move, move, move. Wait, there's a guard in here? <laughs> what did that guy do to deserve... Oh, hello. <laughs> I see they haven't fixed this bug then. Let's get in there. They're trying to leave the castle, which makes our job a lot easier. But I've got to be careful with the sky there in case I get hit by a flying rock. Oh! How dare you. Okay, we're going to slowly attack our way through here. I am past the point where I can get killed by those... Oh, wait, I'm getting shot at. Oh, look at all those archers at the back. That's awesome. Chilled out. Okay, I'm going to put here. I want to try and get away from the door so they can't close it all of a sudden because that would be a disaster. We want to keep that thing open. We need reinforcements to keep flooding in. Ooh. Where would you come from? Should we find first person mode? Imagine it in a real siege or like this. And everyone's just like running around. you like, oh god, what do I do? They seem to be going for me quite a lot here. Let's be, uh, back up a little bit. We are getting in there. Look at this. We're pushing them back. Forward, men. Into the breach. The Norwegians know what's coming. It will just be Scandinavia. The Kaldar Union will be reborn again. Oh. I love this semicircle of archers. Maybe it is on purpose. It does work a lot better for them, but... I can't see. Why, hello there. Not the fastest saw in the world, but I love it, guys. Okay, that's my troops. My troops spread out, start killing. How do we get up that way? I'm very slow right now. Uh, wait, follow me, guys. We're going this way. I don't know why I've gone by myself. Is so <laughs> Can we get some backup so I'm not by myself being shot at all the time? That'd be great. I'm very slow, unfortunately. So we got. Wait, do you reckon if I go up this way, I end up going... That could be a safer route, I think. You guys follow me? Not very fast. Oh, what we could do? Archers, get inside. Wait, did that work? We're in, we're in. Okay, let's go. Don't mind me. I'm so slow. I'm going to use fast forward speed just to speed up my running. <laughs> Why, hello there. There's so many of them, but we got reinforcements coming up the steps there. Oh, no. Oh. I am kind of annoying defense because I have such high armor. We can kind of just burn it. Nice. I'm still being shot by someone. Are they over there? Oh, there's so many. Everyone's spread out. Let's go everywhere. We are going to die in a second, though. Just be a bit careful. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 
This speed up mod should be in base game. It's amazing, everybody. I love it so much. Are we done? Nice, right, that went pretty well. 25 renowned. Oh, our Trist has done quite a lot of damage then. Oh yeah, it was it wasn't actually my archers, it was my inventory. My inventory absolutely smashed it. Then again, that's all I have, so we <laughs> shouldn't be too surprised there. My king! Ironside is reporting for duty, sir. Okay, we have more prisoners than we can possibly handle at this point. We just get rid of some Baltic tribesmen. Oh, what are these guys turn into? Uh, spearmen, light cavalry, and Wendish archers. Not exactly the most um, inviting skill tree in the world. Well, that's... <laughs> Maybe let's not recruit any of those. It seems like it might be a bit of a problem. Okay, upgrade. Excellent. Not recruiting those. Wait, I can recruit these two. We just got to make sure we do not re recruit any bacon troops, or we might be at a bad time. Decrease taken damage. That is also a very good buff. So I like having the melee increase. I think that's really good. So we'll keep that for the inventory. And this one has the damage taken from range. But range is pretty bad these days. So I reckon we go for the melee one instead. There you go. It looks pretty cool as well. It's got like a giant arrow. Okay. I'm happy with that. We'll take all this loot. We are getting a lot of loot at this point. So we've got to get to a city at some point. Done. Okay, my lord, I'm going to head over this way and start sieging down the last city of Norway. If I can get more reinforcements, that would be grand. No, they're too expensive. They're not worth the cost. So, my thinking. Think, my lord, think. What should we do next against our enemy? <laughs> think over the city. Let me just get some recruits. Knowing that the AI gets to recruit first. There's so many people here. <laughs> I reckon they're going to attack me if I hang around, and that could be pretty fun, so we're going to give that a shot. But I would say we've got to remember that we are, in fact, a lord, so if my king shows up, he will take control of the siege. So for now, I'm just going to queue up a bunch of things. We want to at least get a ram, we want to get ourselves some catapults, and then I think we'll just wait, everybody. Now, in case there's any buffs I can grab, let's have a look. Workshop buildings in have leveled up. Oh, that's the actual building. I don't think I've actually built anything in this battle before. <laughs> I normally don't bother with it, I just leave it be. Let's have a look. Sir Heaven has leveled up. Oh no he hasn't. He has some more skills, but oh, Can you imagine how annoyed you would be? This is like when I play those multiplayer games and it's like, oh I need like 10,000 XP and you got like 900, 99,000 XP in a match. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> I wanted to stop playing, I just don't have a match now. Anyway, uh, let's see. So, lead by example. 5% experience of troops in your party after battle, or we can get more morale. I don't really think morale is useful in this game, so we'll go for lead by example. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. You are not me. You are, in fact, a solo man. So, either of these, all these skills are completely worthless for you in every single way. Uh, brilliant. <laughs> we'll go for this one. In a weird chance, he might become a governor. I don't know why he would be. He would at least have a buff. And also, this is going to be pretty handy for us, because he's the infantry captain, so he's also going to improve the handling of all his troops with two-handed weapons, which is, well, not handling, sorry, the troop skill, which actually does affect handling, so, yeah. <laughs> Done! Ooh. Why are you guys leveling up without fighting? Impressive. Oh, look, this, this is so sad. This actually happens in Bandle sometimes, the main game. If they haven't got enough cities or they get stuck in a weird place, they all just congregate around a single city and they try and recruit troops. Oh, oh. oh I thought they were going to go for me for a second. I was really excited. Oh, the problem is going to be, though, they have the bacon troops, so it will probably crash the game if we go into it. My lord, get over here! Okay, we've been sat around for a while now, and I can finally start the actual siege. We have to see how this goes. Now, this is a proper city. Sometimes they may got wooden walls, so it's really easy to take them down, but it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. I was going to wait to see if we get reinforcements, but I don't think we will. So instead, I'm actually happy just sitting around and waiting for the walls to be destroyed, so it'd be a lot easier. No, no, peace is coming in! Oh! Destroy those walls! Come on. He's here! My lord! Okay, he's taking control of the siege, though. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, we're going to save anyway. We're probably going to attack in a second. If he waits for too long, the war will be over, and they get to this, it'd be really annoying, guys. Trust me. I would be livid. Attack, my lord. We go again. There's no bacon troops in here, right? I have saved just in case there is bacon. We're going to go in. No, sergeant's not in charge. Everybody join your formations, and we're going to go in. 
Oh, I like it. Oh, okay, I like this map. This map's pretty awesome. So where's the broken wall? Ah, there it is. We have the advantage. We have all the trebuchets. We have... They got a catapult? Oh, they must have built it in the last second. Okay, archers, go there. Infantry, go to the side. And I'm going to do some temptations, everybody. Some say in another life I could have been a, temp I could have been a seductress. And when I say that, no one said that. I was making a... a horse, where are you going? Well, that's the end of that horse. Men, hurry up. We need to get into the breach. You guys are going to come and try and kill me. Exit your town. Come and fight me. Oh, wait, we're fighting on release of battle mod. Maybe they fixed it. What was that guy doing? <laughs> there's actually not that many of them here. Wait, there's like only... Men. We can do this. For the glory of Sweden, we must claim our homelands back. We will create the Scandinavian nation and control the known world. Into the breach, men. This is where it begins. We must combine the Viking kingdoms and then we can invade England. It's going to be truly glorious. Right, men. I feel like I need a bigger sword. Okay. Oh. There's a, quite a few of them here, but they have, they've messed up because they're so far away from the entrance. We have just walked in. There's too many of us now. We have the advantage in arms. We have the advantage in spirit. There's no chance. So we tried a giant axe though. Wait, should we try to, wait, 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 let me switch weapons a little bit. Let's do this guy. <laughs> Hundred, wow, damn. This thing also works really well. In fact, it does way more damage than my sword. But it's not a very Viking-esque weapon, is it? Let's be honest here. I guess they did use a lot of spears, but not like this. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Maybe they did. It's like I'm using a glaive. I'm calling Guan Yu, the god of war. I need my red hair. I can be the ultimate warrior. I cannot... I don't know if it's in development. Someone needs to make a mod with the three kingdoms. I would play a Zhao Yun, or at least attempt to. It would be the best game ever made, everybody. There's not enough Dynasty Warrior games anymore, so we need alternatives. Come on, guys. Modders, get on it. Okay, there's those enemies that way. I dare you. Wait, where am I going? <laughs> uh, ah, this way? Sorry, it's because it's a large siege. The amount of uh, lag is a bit crazy when I press this button. Aha! Why, hello there. You can't defend against my dragon spear. I think I go this way. Why is this door so tiny? This is where my lack of knowledge is coming into a bit of a problem here. I don't know what... Game says no. This is clearly not the way, but we are still winning in the interim, so I guess it's okay. How do you guys get up there? Ah, wait. Another dark room, which may or may not be the correct way to... Ah, oh, hi. Hit me! Still some guys. Imagine this guy being like tunnel visioned into fighting from the walls and he realized at the end he's actually the last guy left. Is anyone even out there? Oh, there is a catapult. Wait, someone get past me! No one will survive! Come back here! Okay, I think we're pretty much done here. I did pretty well. I mean, in terms of weapon power, this is probably my best, but by far. This one is pretty damn powerful at this point. How are we still... Where are you? Oh, there's some guys stuck over there. I got this. <laughs> it's because I land on my ankles. Guys, what's happening, man? What's going on here? Wait, is the last enemy in here? I didn't realize. We've done it. Victory is ours. Unfortunately, Ironside was injured during the battle. I can't even look at myself anymore. I landed on my ankle and have a boo-boo. I'm actually not dead. I'm just, I'm just resting. I'm like, ah, oh, my leg. Oh, quarter for the Cravens, everybody. Oh, I should make a mob where I just add a bunch of stupid voice lines and I just have it come in. <laughs> I, would, I would use that. would be great. Okay. Damn. That's a lot of prisoners, everybody. So we'll take all these fellas. Need a lot of war horses. Uh, yes, yes. No, no. No. 
Yes, yes. That's how I decide what to do with my life. The no, no, yes, yes decision. Marks. Me. Oh, if I was an archer right now, I'd be like, oh, wow, look at this. But I'm not. So. <laughs> uh, we've got some upgrades for our armors. I reckon this looks better on horseback. Uh, yeah. She now is super chainmailed. You can't, there's not a part of her body that's not in chainmail right now. She is protected from all sides. This is brilliant. So, this is where we're going to see what happened. Oh, it's because we killed the kingdom. We got attacked all the, by little kingdoms and stuff. It's fine. So, it's going to be interesting. Does the mod work? Everybody, we have to pray to the gods of barrels. The barrels need to provide us with an increase in quality of life. Oh my god. It works. <laughs> I can't believe it. Years of torment have been ended in one fell swoop. We can now play the game without having to go one, two, three. <laughs> it's a great day. It's a great, brilliant day. Norway has been defeated. Quality of life has improved. And I have recovered my ankle injury. It's all good. Okay. Uh, let's see. So there's not really much I want to probably grab from here, to be honest. We'll just leave that be. We are pretty damn rich at this point. We still need to try and find my... A shield maiden! Come with me. Not even... That's not even a question. Of course I want a shield maiden. I really need to get a second party member though. Uh, what are her skills? Oh, she's so good at infantry. Oh, Sir Heaven, you might have a problem, buddy. You've got skills in one handing and pole arm, but she's good at everything. We'll see. I, it's a shame she has. I, why can't I customize stats, everybody? <laughs> I don't want this. Well, I do technically, but I don't. I want to have like a level one character, like when I create my own character, and be like, oh, she's a steward. We'll keep it for now. She can just be a really powerful shield maiden. We'll give her some big ass shields and stuff, and she can just run around like a badass. Uh, let me just give her some stuff quickly. Uh, she deserves. Be a regular warrior. No, where, why are we not using super shields, guys? What, what is this? Where are the super shields? Let's give her a nice one of these. We'll give her a better sword. I'm still... Why don't I just give her this one? This one was way better. A bit annoyed about the lack of a awesome shield, though. Because, I mean... She's a shield maiden. She's not going to use an Eastern Cavalry shield. No. That doesn't make any sense. Ah. Perfect. Okay, we need to get herself some cool armor. A nice helmet. Should we give her an axe as well? Can she be an axe maiden? No, nah, she is technically... We, we keep her with one hand weapons so she can use the shield. Ours won't make much sense. And I guess the last thing we need to get is some boots. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Cool, I just spent some money. Is it really worth it? Probably not, but still. She looks a lot better now. There you go. <laughs> She's ready to go, and half my wealth is gone, just like that. Oh! I, I had that much loot left over? That's a bit crazy, actually. We have way too much fish and not enough other stuff as well, while I'm noticing. Let's just grab ourselves all the random things we need. Oh, there's not actually that much food here. It's probably because we were sieging them down. It probably caused a bit of a problem there. Okay, so that's that sorted out. We can also get myself a ton of prisoners, everybody. And a literal ton. And a bunch of mercenaries. Oh, we're a bit too high. We're a bit too high at the moment. Sorry, Carls. You're out of here. Four mounts. Infantry. Done. Okay. Everybody, we've made progress. The first kingdom has fallen to the glory of the Swedish nation. We currently have nothing going on apart from the little wars, though, so there's a lot more enemies to kill. Actually, we could actually have a look. Who is the strongest kingdom right now? I'm kind of curious. I reckon it's going to be the Holy Roman Empire with their set. And they've had higher than that before. They must have been in some wars. I'm pretty sure they... Oh! Of course! Byzantium! That was another major contender in this time period. I didn't think about that. England's pretty strong. Denmark's not that bad, actually. I reckon we can take Denmark now. Okay. Let's see how things go. So we want to try and... I'm just going to ignore these lords. I, they can't really take anything back. They're done for. We'll get rid of this army as well. Oh, they might need some help. <laughs> oh, no, they're okay. It's a massacre. They're just going through killing everybody. Wait, who was that? 
Wait, it's two of them. Oh my god. Are you all married? Oh, look at us. Okay. Cecilia. I must admit, I find you. I am your most ardent admirer. It's a weird way of saying things. If I go on a date, I'm going to say that one day. Um, this randomly. I don't know why I would do that. I would throw away the entire date. But it would be funny for myself. It would be an eternal joke only I would understand. <laughs> and then I would just be I probably left alone. It's okay. It's happened before. I wish to offer you my hand in marriage. Excellence. Indeed, Cecilia. Indeed. I mean, you can't go to Sweden and not marry a, um, a tall blonde, everybody. It's just a staple at this point. Okay, let's do this. Oh, no. That's not that brilliant, guys. Eight, oh, we're in, we're in the chance of failing here. Oh, please, game. Don't do this to me. We, oh, we're okay. We're okay. I thought we were done for for a second there. I think it's because I'm missing the perk, which gives you 30% buff on persuasion. It's, uh, where is it? I haven't got it. Oh, damn it, guys. I messed up here. <laughs> we probably get another point in athletics just so I can get that skill. That skill is extremely useful. Okay. Uh, what is this? Oh, tracker. 2% speed while following hostile party. Beautiful. I want that by for a big, beautiful buff there. Next we have... What is this? Fair hideout. N useless. Useless. I'm going to go for this one because also I'm getting a lot of mercenaries because they're kind of fun of this mod. So we're going to pick that and we're going to grab that feather as well. Let me just uh, auto resolve these little battles. I don't think we can properly. No worries. We're all good. We must destroy our foes. Now, unfortunately, we are technically at war with a bunch of um, mercenaries, but I think the wars will just end at some point. I think they auto time out if it's a mercenary. And of course, the ones that are the old lords of Norway, unfortunately, just get deleted. I wish there was a way you can, like, recruit them or they go to another faction entirely. I think that'd be preferable. Uh, something I always liked about um, Warband is, of course, there wasn't clans. It was just lords, right? So, but if you manage to get, like, uh, King of Sardinia or whatever down to, like, two castles, their lords will start being like, ah, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> screw this we're doomed i'm going somewhere else and they will just go and ram me defect to different countries so the lords are still the same they just move on to somewhere else i think that's a lot better instead of just being deleted from the universe and then of course you want to capture and kill them all that also makes sense who's this nordic is he a new clan level three i don't know if they create new clans who, who do you reckon deserves it the most because i'm not in the thing here so we've got three poor lords all of them pretty much need this thing i like this guy because he's got a cool fag he's got a cool name do you know what he secured my vote now everybody if you vote for me in the next election this is how i will do politics i'm like this guy's name it's a good name <laughs> he deserves greatness done i've right, got very high where's my stuff oslo not the most amazing city in the world, but it will grow. It will become better. Now, also, something I want to try and do at some point is try and get the game to pass some good laws. Because there's so many laws which make your kingdom worse and so many that make them better. The thing is, it's really hard because you've got this arbitrary... Um, the kingdoms have like a preset what they want to do. So it's kind of tough in a way to get things sorted out. I mean, this one here would be a good one to grab. We're okay right now, though, I will say, because currently... We just own Norwegian, um, Norwegian, <laughs> Norwegian, it's a new thing. <laughs> we only own, um, what is my trip? Wait, I'm having a brain fire, everybody. I'm currently pro uh, processing a stroke. Nordic troops, Nordic culture. There you go. <laughs> we got there at the end. It's fine. Okay, I think we're going to try and pass this law, guys. I've been looking around. This one's got settlement loyalty plus two a day. That's going to be a lifesaver when it comes to taking over places that are not Nordic. We got it. Smashed it. That does also mean I have no influence now, so <laughs> that's a bit awkward, but it does mean we get a lot more buffs. So if I go into this city now, you'll see that we have a beautiful plus two. Uh, actually, we don't actually. Never mind. <laughs> it says settlements. Does that mean non-cut cities? I'm not really sure. Ooh. Well, forgive me if I cannot wish you peace. We should make peace, my friend. Wait, what? 
Why can I make peace with a hostile nation? I'm not the king. Weird. He doesn't care about this. <laughs> he just no cares at all. Uh, we're going to capture him though. So we want to get this guy off the field in case he just randomly attacks our villagers and affects our income. So we're going to take this guy down. Magnus will be attacked and will be destroyed. I wonder if I can try and recruit him into our faction, like on behalf of my lord. That could be quite interesting. This is awesome. I love this. Okay. Uh, also, I realized earlier, I, I don't know if you noticed at the start of the video, I found a way of like cheating this random slow speed of shield mode. So if I move forward normally, this is the speed, right? It seems to be. Yeah, look, that's pathetic. Why is that happening? But if I do this. Perfect, guys. I, I've, I've discovered something. <laughs> My life is now vastly better. I seem to have noticed that the shield maiden is, in fact, using a horse. That's not really what we want to do there. So we're going in. Before we even get there, the cavalry's already killed so many of them. Wow. Ah, oh, man. All cavalry armies, I think, are going to work these days, everybody. The age of combat is back. There is no more range. It is just people with swords, pole arms, and axes. That's all we need now. Oh, he ducked, he ducked it. I can't believe it. We keep these guys off the streets. The old Norwegians do not need to be running around trying to spread the hope of liberty in our Swedish lands. No, we must destroy them all. The only thing they will know is the Swedish Empire. Yeah, also, I really wanted to capture him just so I can try out, see if I can recruit him into the faction, because that'd be awesome. Because he is a high-level king, right? He is a powerhouse. You do not deserve such things. Why have you got different coloured KML? <laughs> Why have you done this? Okay, let me just see what we can do here. Would you be interested in perhaps joining us? My... No, he doesn't want to. That's fine. You can just live in my prison. <laughs> If you don't want to be peace, that's okay. I mean, I'm totally fine with that. It just means you're going to have a pretty boring life. Let's put it that way. Let's head back. Oh, we can grab this guy as well. Oh. We'll also resolve this one. I think it's me. It's simple enough to take them down. Who's the mans? I wonder if we might get mans because... No, I tried this before. I have tried this before. I keep thinking that I can recruit them, but I can't. We just have to face the facts. You cannot recruit killed off factions for some reason. Uh, we have a little bit more room. Let's grab more prisoners. Okay, let's go to my, my beautiful homeland. My my home city of Oslo. Oh, level ups. I feel like we want to grab this just to get to that, but it may not work. Um, hmm. No, let's go for this instead. Let's keep, up, let's keep leveling up. If I get to the point where I have maximum scouting, tactics, engineering, we can then get the rest of the points at that point over to combat skills. Because at that point, there's nothing else to do anyway. We do technically also have trading, but I'm just not a, I'm not a trader, guys. <laughs> I don't trade. I never have. I probably never will. I, I should try it, though, shouldn't I? Just for the XP. Should I just buy a bunch of random products and just randomly sell them? I hope I get a trade XP. Because <laughs> I am rich. I can easily just throw away my money if I wanted to. I, I, it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, let's see. Healing rate while above morale. That does seem like the best thing to grab here. We're going to go for that fella. Done. Balaban, why are you attacking us, buddy? I thought we were I thought we were cool. Interesting. You might try that in a second. So let's have a look at my little thing here. We've got nothing going on with the old construction. So we're currently making a workshop to increase things. And I've got irrigation on the norm. Okay, that sounds like a pretty good idea to me. We have got some forgiveness of debts. Oh, it is working. We've got some more morale coming in. I don't know if loyalty technically does anything after you go above 50. It's just a debuff. Wait, let's have a look around these stats. I can't see anything specifically about access loyalty increasing things. No, I don't think it does. 
Let me know in the comments, guys. Does having more than 50 loyalty actually do anything? I must admit, I never actually spent any time looking at this screen. So it's a bit of... I, 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 what can I say? I just don't just don't look at it. It is what it is. Anyway. Uh, ooh. I can't tell what his stats are, though. If I knew he had some kind of, like, stewardship, I'll be happy. What we can do, though... Just in case we there's one in our kingdom. Wait, what instrument are you playing? Oh, he's just no clapping. <laughs> Does that work? <laughs> uh, where am I going? Tavern keeper, my good friend. I'm looking for a quartermaster. Damn it, man! Stupid. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to throw a swing there. Wait, I've got strong enough to get a bodyguard now. Awesome. It's a shame that you don't get given armor and body. Why have they got only peasant clothes? I would be walking around in my full gear if I was a dude. I'm just going to put it out there. And we are going to try the tournament. Just because if I get the legendary gear, it's going to be a massive upgrade. Because they have a chance of upgrading themselves. So it could actually be the best armor in the entire game. Oh, I really want them. Give them to me. I have got a plan this, by the way. I think I already told you guys before. But what I was going to do, when I get a companion... Or a party leader. I was going to do the thing with the party AI. Wait, I'm getting attacked here. So you can tell them to recruit any troop you want, right? With the party AI controls. And what you can do as well is actually a setting saying you can convert troops into what you need. So I can make them convert their entire army into John Vikings. And then they can just give me the recruits. So we can have noble infantry in our glorious army. I cannot wait. I hope it works. I haven't tried it myself yet, but it might be okay. That guy's given up. He's just gone somewhere else. Getting some good axe throws there. Oh. One v ones. Let's do this. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> we are the best team. Oh, it's because he's, he's one of our future warriors, everybody. These guys are badass. Oh, that means I got a fight at the end? Oh, it's level one, though, so it's not a problem. I mean, this guy, though. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, he's pretty much got my build, apart from the um, random glaive I have. <laughs> Why am I on a horse? I don't know. Hey, wow. I must admit, I don't think small axes on a horse is probably the best way of using cavalry. I'm just going to put it out there. I could barely even hit the guy. I need my guy to stop being distracted and go for the... There you go. We're going to stay still and we're going to just face tank him. Let me get out of the way. Get up. There you go. Perfect. It. Oh, God. Sorry. I sneeze. I cut that bit out. It's fine. No one heard it. I sneeze so hard, I think my brain moved. Oh. That was a bad time, everybody. The last battle! I'm not so near them, because I knew this last time I did this, and I was taking the piss out of them missing, and then they hit me in the face and I die. So they're going to wait until they run out of ammo, and then we're going to start the battle. Do it. Let the battle begin. <laughs> Sorry, I like that. That was fun. Oh, did you, he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. I got him though. It's fine. My eyes are too powerful for him. I had a full night's sleep, everybody. I, I, I'm invincible right now. They can't stop me. Done. So we got a basic vest. So not exactly the best thing in the world. It's actually... Can anyone wear this? Upgrade for you. There you go. Let me just sell this. They have no money. It's fine. Oh, wait, while we're here, let's get ourselves some um, more horses for general travel. We'll also get ourselves all these warm, uh, very expensive. Oh, God, I'll buy the cheaper ones. I know I said I'm rich, but I'm, I'm still a giant. <laughs> I was like, I can't do this. I might lose money. So what's a trade good that's good to sell? Apparently this is green, which might mean, ah, we'll take that. This is literally my first time ever trading in Bandlord. I'm not really going to go around doing trading, but I just want to get my skills up, okay? Ooh, green! Luckily for me, I'm not colorblind. If I was, I would have no chance in doing this. 
damn guys, look at my trading skills. I picked the best deals. Amazing. I do actually trade in other games, by the way. X4. Ah, the trading empires I create there, guys. They're beautiful. Oh, wait. Before we run off, we need to make sure we dump the king and Gudrun in our little dungeon here. They can live there for the rest of their lives, and we can also get ourselves some things there. Done! I also want to check out my castle, because of course we recently saw the message saying that it finished a workshop, which is really exciting. If we go... Where is it? Show me the construction speed. Plus. Wait. Plus two. Wow. <laughs> if I build all of them, I get a 3%, uh, 10% increase in speed. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Anyway, so at this point, we're going to do this. Uh, let's just... I want to increase general prosperity. Taxes. You got to love taxes, everybody. We're going to go for more taxes. And then I'm just going to do a bunch of random things, and eventually I will forget about this place and never return. That's the player body, and that's going to be the plan. Done! Okay. I probably should do another one while I'm here. You can do it multiple times, I keep forgetting about that. There you go. I'll do it on the other one as well, so there's like a ton of things. And you guys- are you were trying to get away! It's been I can't attack these guys, they're cursed, but we can auto-resolve kill them. My lands will be protected. From people like you. Excellent. I'm not going to worry about Jakob. It's just because that guy was a bit of a pain. Okay, done. No, that was not the right thing. We should probably get some... Whoa! Wait a second, everybody. Wait a second. Have we leveled up our clan rank? I think we might have. We've become more powerful than ever before. Rust troops. Interesting. Okay, I feel like we got a pretty good stick of our troops, because ours are pretty powerful when it comes to uh, fighting in quick range. We've got a lot of people we can fit in here. I'm not worried about defense now, because we are, of course, we've won this region of the map. It should be totally fine. Welcome to my prison, friend. Done. Okay, let's get out of there. So I'm going to probably, what time is it? We, we're pretty much on a video, but what I'm going to do before we end up, I'm going to have a quick scout around the Denmark territory and Holy Roman Abar. I just really want to try and find a companion we can add in as well, just for like the various things, um, like eating a party, that kind of thing. Can I trade my trade goods here? Wait a minute. No, that's bad. That's good. That's average price. Probably should sell it when it's not an average price. I think it's because we're probably too close. That's a trade buff, right? I have gained trade skills, everybody. <laughs> this is my first time. It's so exciting. <laughs> we're doing it. But everybody, anyway, I will, um, what I'll do, I'll look for a companion very quickly between episodes. If I don't find one, we don't find one. I'm actually just going to run into a Denmark town, ask if there's a quartermaster, and then go to Germany and ask the same thing. And we'll try and grab them if there's this. Welcome, everybody. I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. What we'll probably do, because there's not really anything to do anymore, because we've now become, there's no war, right? You have to fight in the game to have fun. So we'll probably wait until I start the next video. We're going to wait until the war is declared. I don't know when that might be. If I look at nearby kingdoms, I'm not... S there might be a war here. Uh, where is the Baltic tribes? No. So it looks like there's a good chance war will be declared on the Samai people. Which I'm actually a bit concerned about because of the potential issues of crashing with their troops being a bit buggered, um, bugged. <clears throat> but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Other that, everybody, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. And behold, everybody our fledgling empire as always please like subscribe comment below and i will see you next time bye